do you know light? Now, this is a really, it's a, you could say almost a trick question, but I find a lot of photographers have a problem seeing light, not only when they take the picture, but when they finish it. And that's really important to see light. Now, just exactly what am I talking about? Here's a, here's a prime example. This is shot in England a month ago. We got a hurricane up front, a spitfire in the back, out in the very historic Duxford Field. Now you can see that gorgeous light above, that beautiful red-orange blazing sunset. So here's the deal. If we come back to the photograph and we look at it, we take away two layers, you can see that's how the photograph was. Look at the sides of these aircraft. They don't really glow. So when I say, do you see light? Not only when you take it, but when you finish it. So here's this light. It's coming up here from the heavens, right? And it's coming down here. And there's some light in those aircraft, but there's not really a lot of light. We could do a lot better. So by simply selecting this layer over here, which is my high pass, my rivet finishing layer, which you'll find on Kelby class or and some of the text I have here on the website. You can see I've created that layer. When I hold down the control or command key, you'll see the marching ants appear around the aircraft. And when I do that, okay, it's real simple. I created a curve layer. That's what you see right here. This is a curve layer right there. Curves. Double click on this. You can see I've raised the exposure of those aircraft one half stop one half stop we're talking about camera settings in photoshop can you see light so i created that now here's the deal it's important to see what kind of light am i actually putting on that aircraft right now what color is that light because we are making these brighter these aircraft are definitely brighter i'm here poking the eyeball in and out in and out entertaining myself, and but what color is that light? The light I just put on that aircraft is white, white light. But the light coming from the heavens, what color is that light? It's not white, is it? It's that really warm, golden sunset color. So yes, I have lightened up those planes, but I've not increased the romance. I've not stayed true to the light. So this layer right here, this layer right here, okay, might have you wondering, what is this layer with this camera? This is really simple, because when I click on it, watch the planes. Boom. See that white light gets what? Kissed by the heavens. What have I done? It's so simple. I have simply used the photo filter, the old weighty 1A, brought it up to 60%. And in this case, I'm kissing that white light with what, that warm light from above. So now when you look at the picture, you just think, wow, what a great moment. So when I say, do you see the light? You have to understand, and it's so important that when you go and take that photograph, you bring in all that information, make that camera, that portable computer with a lens, grab all that information, suck it in and recognize that, do your best to the camera. Then realize when you come into post, you have to stay true to your photograph, true to your subject and your storytelling, and most importantly, stay true to the light. In this case, don't just lighten it with white light, give it that kiss from the sunset. Then when people look at the photograph, they won't see anything but that gorgeous light. And once you have that, they're all yours. So think about it, do you see light?